Keep your heads up, family. The word is true. The word is real. This is not a game. This is not a fairy tale. The rapture is about to happen. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Luke 11, 9. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. And I've been praying for a rapture dream for a long time. And I've been praying for a Christina dream since the last Christina dream I had when the three gifts were by the front door and she was standing next to me and I asked her, what are these gifts for? And she said, just grab them, we gotta go. And we grabbed them and we went out the door and I'm feeling his Holy Spirit right now. Praise you, Father and your Son, Yeshua HaMashiach a.k.a. Jesus Christ, the name you were saved by, the name I was saved by. And again, the word is true. Ask, and it shall be given you. And I don't even feel the same after the dream I had last night. I feel like a different person. I can't even explain it or put it in words completely but I'm going to try my best right now to share with you what I experienced in my dream last night. It was astonishing. It was the most blissful, joyful experience I've ever had in my whole entire life. I was standing in the front yard and the door was open. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the trumpet sounded. And it was the loudest thing that I've ever heard in my whole entire life. I can't even put it into words. When the trumpet sounded, I felt it through my whole body. Not only did I hear it, I could hear it through my whole body, through my soul. And as soon as I heard the trumpet, I knew it was the rapture. Instantly, I was filled with this joy that I can't explain. Every fiber of my body, there was no fear anywhere. All I felt was joy vibrating through my whole body. And I jumped up in the air as high as I could and pumped my fist and said, let's go, it's the rapture. And right then, I felt like the author and finisher of our faith was telling me I made it. And I got this overwhelming feeling and thoughts through every fiber in my whole body that told me, see, I knew the rapture was real. I knew it was about to happen. And I made it. I kept my faith. And right when I hit the ground, I looked up and the whole sky turned dark. In the ground, the earth started shaking. And the heavens started vibrating violently. And as I'm looking at what's left of the sun, in the darkness, it was vibrating so violently. It looked blurry. I couldn't focus. All I seen was the darkness and the sun violently shaking, vibrating. And that happened for three to five seconds, this vibrating and not being able to see clearly. It was all blurry, vibrating. And then it happened. And I literally seen heaven explode. And all I remember before it exploded is was darkness, black with the sun vibrating with this purple radiance. And as soon as it exploded, it was like a million nuclear bombs going off. As soon as it exploded, I ran as fast as I could back into the house, straight to my room and dove on the bed because Christina was laying there sleeping. And I started shaking her and saying, wake up, it's the rapture. And then I woke up and instantly 
I started talking to Jesus and said, please let me remember this dream and the details of this dream so I could share it with you, family. And soon as I was done talking to him and putting on the whole armor and praying that I'm accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and that I'm able to stand before him, I knew right then that I would never forget this, that I would remember this dream every second of the day until it happens. So I want you to know when that trumpet goes off, all of you are going to know for a fact that it's the rapture. It's going to shake every living creature's soul to the core. And you're not going to be scared. You're going to know exactly what's happening. You're going to know that Jesus Christ is sounding the trumpet and you're going home. He went to prepare a place for us and he's coming back to get us. And that trumpet is your heads up, family. Soon as you hear that trumpet, it's going to go quick. Seconds. I've never heard or experienced anything even remotely close to this dream. I know for a fact that that's exactly how it's going to happen. And instantly, after I got done praying, he reminded me, Mine and Christina's last video together. And the verse of the day was 2 Peter 3.10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Well, I heard that great noise. It was heaven exploding right before my eyes. The explosion blanketed the whole sky. And the whole sky turned to an explosive fire. And I knew I was seconds away from being caught up in the air. In the dream, I didn't know that Christina had already escaped. When I ran to my room and dove in the bed toward her, she looked like she looked before she was sick. I know it was Jesus Christ telling me he's about to open the graves and that the dead in Christ are about to rise. Again, I've never felt joy like I felt in this dream. It seemed like he had already wiped my tears away. It seemed like I would never feel pain again in that moment. And when I woke up, I knew that he's telling me it's about to happen. And that's why he has me doing this video. He's preparing you for the trumpet. He wants you to know when the trumpet sounds, everything's going to go dark and the earth is going to start shaking and the heavens are going to vibrate violently. They're going to vibrate so much it will be blurry. The best way I can explain it is when you're going to take a picture and the camera's out of focus, and the camera's trying to focus in and make the picture clear, but it doesn't go clear. It vibrates intensely, and the vibration increases until the great noise and the explosion. And I knew as soon as that explosion happened that the next thing that was going to happen is the stars were going to fall to the earth. The explosion was coming to earth. And that's why I ran as fast as I could to tell Christina that the rapture's happening. And the words that I just said to you doesn't even scratch the surface of what I seen, what I felt, what I heard. The best way I could describe it is I knew instantly that I would be with Jesus Christ, Christina, all our loved ones that believed in him, you, family. Instantly, I knew that I won because I held on to my faith. And I knew instantly that I had eternal life. I felt it through my whole body. 
I can still feel it. It's not going away. I'm going to be thinking about this every second of the day until Jesus Christ comes. The best way I can explain it is Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You could take the best days of your life, the best moments of your whole entire life, the most joy you've ever felt, and then you could roll it all into a ball. And that wouldn't even be a speck. It would be a piece of dust compared to the glory that will be revealed in you. There's nothing I can even compare it to. The joy I felt was eternal joy. I knew right then that I was going to feel like that forever. I feel so happy for all of you, myself included and Christina included. We've been tried. Our faith has been tested, put through the fire, and we've held on to Jesus Christ with everything we got. And I promise you, he's coming back to get us. It's been so hard and painful waiting for him and watching. But I promise you, everything you've went through, everything that you're going through, is more than worth it. It's all worth it, fam. Just hang on to him. Keep your eyes on him. Don't let no one steal your crown or your joy. Know that you have eternal life and he's coming to get us right away. The relief that you're going to feel when that trumpet sounds off is unexplainable. It's beyond our imagination. We've never felt anything like this. I'm being filled with this Holy Spirit right now, family. This is the truth. The truth is coming to get us. And when you hear that trumpet, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to hear the trumpet with your ears, but you're going to also hear it with your heart. The trumpet is your soul is going to hear the trumpet. I've never heard anything like this. It was like Jesus Christ's voice through every fiber of my whole body saying, See, I told you I was coming back to get you. And your whole spirit, everything about you is going to feel like it's saying to you, I knew it. I held on to my faith and it's over. His word is true and he's taken me home. And the signs are there. And they have been right where he said they would be. In the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So I really don't even need to go over them with you. You already know he's coming. So I'll finish this video with a couple of signs that I'm seeing that are happening right now. And I was blessed enough to catch this picture last night of the conjunction. And you could see that Venus is on top of Jupiter now, shining very brightly, brighter than I've ever seen them, before any stars even come out. And this has been happening for days now. He's gotten the whole world's attention with his signs all over the whole world. This is the conjunction over Italy. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And this picture came in from a sister from California last night and that's the moon and it looks like the sun. And this was from DJ Two Moons in Florida. And as I said, and as you can see, this happens before the stars even come out. Yeshua is doing this, Jesus Christ, so his signs stand out. So everybody can see them. And you already know, Purim starts tomorrow. But originally, 
It was on the first month, the 14th day of Nisan. You can go to the TorahCalendar.com and see this. It's Passover, the day of redemption, the original fast of Esther. And I love Queen Esther, and you probably do too, because the way that God used her to save the Jewish people from annihilation is amazing. But this ain't about Queen Esther. This is about Jesus Christ and him saving us from going to hell for eternity. This is about our Father loving us enough to come in the flesh and die for us through his only begotten Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. You love him. I love him. Christina loved him. That's why we keep our faith in him. And here's what Jesus Christ is showing us. John chapter 21, verse 10. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes, and a hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. Yeshua. So you already know. This parable is about the rapture, the harvest, the first fruits. And I received this comment from Jesus is coming soon yesterday. And it's magnificent. Also, November 8th to April 9th is 153. The net is full. God bless you. And I said, nice catch. Praise God. Because if you remember, the last conjunction that entered any constellation together was the sun and Mercury on 11-8, November 8th, 2022, on the same day that the total blood moon eclipse was above us. So for there to be 153 days between that total blood moon eclipse and resurrection day is gigantinormous. And in 2017, he told me, drop the net and follow me and I'll make you a fisher of men. So that's what this is all about, family, is fishing for men. And when you go to Stellarium right now, the asteroid Esther is in what they call Pisces, the fish constellation, right underneath the conjunction. Last year, Esther was nowhere near the conjunction. And I showed you, Queen Cleopatra, the asteroid, is right above Esther. They're running side by side, headed for Uranus. And as you go through the days, you could see Esther moving and Venus into the constellation they call Pisces. And as you keep going, you can see Venus crosses Uranus first. And then, as you go to Resurrection Day, you can see that Venus is right next to Pleiades. And Esther is right underneath Uranus. And Mercury is right above that. And right to the right, you can see the next conjunction that enters a constellation since 11-8 total blood moon eclipse conjunction with Mercury and the sun. This time, it's the sun and what they call Jupiter, the wandering star they call a planet, entering the fish. 153 days since the total blood moon eclipse, since the last conjunction, just like the great catch, 153 fish. And no one knows the day or hour but our Father. But we know and we see the day approaching. And we know it's all about the fish. And we know that he's pointing out the fish and the great catch. And the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars.
and not only will it be 153 days from the total blood moon eclipse to resurrection day, it will be 1290 days from the time, the day that they renewed Noah's covenant with 70 nations and recognized Islam as God in a Jewish temple the same time that they sacrificed a lamb on the Mount of Olives. And we know that Israel is 74 years old right now. And we know that God is good. And Good Friday is on 4-7. Israel's year reversed. And when you back up to Passover on 4-7, and you zoom in to the fish, you could see that's actually when Jupiter is crossing the line into the fish with the sun right behind Jupiter. Then on Resurrection Day, they're both crossing the line into the fish. By the 10th, they're both in the fish. So the signs are there, family. And we know on the spring equinox, when it turns from winter to spring, it will be exactly at 2125, just like Luke 2125. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So when you hear that trumpet go off, every fiber in your whole being will know we're going home and the watch is over.